Those talks with Japan, a continuation from last fall and this spring, where Japan continually urged the president and vice president to rejoin the Trans-Pacific Partnership to no avail as of yet. But the fact of the meeting underscores a series of negotiations the administration has reopened with allies recently. Two senior EU trade officials will visit the U.S. on August 20th. Canada's ambassador told the Globe and Mail he expected to be back at the table with the U.S. by next Monday. And a Mexican delegation is in D.C. this week, continuing negotiations on NAFTA. Those meetings set to continue today. And the Mexican economy minister said yesterday he was optimistic about talks producing a broad agreement. Meanwhile, the July agreement between the U.S. and the EU is beginning to take shape. The State Department sent a cable to U.S. embassies in Europe on Tuesday asking officials to identify businesses in their domains where tariffs and regulation could potentially be cut. That cable, which was read out to CNBC, placed priority on natural gas and soybeans. And the suggestions could be fodder for forthcoming negotiations, with an EU spokesperson saying President Juncker and top White House officials are discussing visits in the coming weeks, some to the EU, some to the U.S. So we will see what those bear, Andrew. But certainly the administration is trying to keep busy this August, even as the markets uh, seem to be fairly quiet.